Welcome to this weekend Campbell football presented by our friends at Precision Ford with Campbell head coach Mike Minner. I'm Chris Haymeyer and coach your camels went down to Georgia came back with a victory over Mercer. How'd they do it? Hey, listen, I, uh, Chris, it was a it was a team win. The defense in the first half really, really kept us in the game, held Mercer that great offense to six points in the first half. I thought it was really good. So going into halftime, um, the offense kind of stumbled a little bit in the red zone. Um, and then, you know, hey, Hod Malik, big, long, deep throw to start the game. I thought that was really good, right? We wanted to open up um, the game with a lot of um, energy. And um, that first play, we, we, we wanted to strike deep, and we was able to do that. And then later in the game, when you got into the second half, um, the offense got going. And um, the offensive line took over. Really what you want to see late in the game is that you were able to run the football. And we was able to do that. I know we hit Bognier with a, with a deep ball uh, wide open to kind of get us back to the lead after we kind of lost momentum. And, um, and then we finished it off. And, and um, so I call it a great team win. The things that we talked about was whoever was going to be the most physical football team was going to win that game. So you had to win your one-on-one -on -one battles. And, um, and I thought our guys did. It came down to explosive plays. Who was going to make the most explosive plays in the ball game? Again, we, we um, categorized that as 20-plus yards on one play. Uh, we had nine, and they, they had eight. And um, so whoever was going to win that category was going to win that game, and, and we was able to do that. And I think the three turnovers uh, was very timely and, and big in that ball game. So our guys really just really played hard. Um, it was really the first time that you look at, um, you know, us being in a football game from start to finish. They were very talented, um, and, and they really challenged everything that we was about. And, um, and so I, 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 I'm really excited about where we at as a football team. I told you going into the week, we will find out um, are we a top 75 team or a top 50 team. And um, we answered the, you know, answered the bell and, and came out on top. And great program win for Campbell. Coach, let's take a look at the highlights as your Camels went down to Macon, Georgia to take on Mercer out of the SOCON. First play of the game, Haj Malik Williams to Jalen Kelsey. Hey, again, great job. Um, listen, Kelsey, that ball, I thought it was overthrown, <laughs> and all of a sudden he, he gets a second gear and catch, catch that ball. Um, great job. Then Cedric Frazier uh, with the catch. Cam Davis had a big game, and that sets up, gosh, boy, Davis, one of your many players that had big plays like that. That's a true freshman out there, guys. I mean, that guy was out there making it happen. And then, of course, right there with the pick with Cam, um, setting the tone. I, this was the difference in the ball game, the pick six um, by Cameron. And this isn't a replay after uh, Cam takes it back to the house a little later in the game. Darian Sle Malik Great here picks off this pass. Again, Malik playing zone, playing his eyes watching the quarterback and was really able to get into the thorn lane and make it happen. And then, of course, number seven, we glad he's back. Darren Slade with the great interception and the great return um, on the play. The defense came up big. Third interception of the game and this tied at 13 late in the third quarter. The scramble and the fine. Bargnair, what a job. The Vars, man, great job of um, staying open. Uh, reading Hodge Malik on the scramble and then outrun everybody. I told him after the play, I said, oh, you can run. Then later in the game, this one was still close, but look at this. These are three straight runs by Jonathan Hawkins, 62 yards on this drive. Well, that's, that's why we got him. I mean, we got him from uh, Buffalo to come down here to do that. Give the ball to you three straight times, and you have to finish it off with a tough run. Um, in the red zone. Great job by the offensive line. Great running um, there by Hawkins. He finishes with 106. This touchdown run, so tough. And then uh, you have to kind of ice this one. Armstrong here with the catch over the middle. Again, Williams scrambles, by times for his receiver. Again, Hodge is doing a great job of just buying time and getting guys wide open. And a, a tough catch right there by Devarius again. And um, hey, 
Let's get the ball to the true freshman and see what he can do. Oh, he's going to take it all away, Chris. That's what I like. Explosive speed in the fourth quarter. That's the difference between winning and losing, and we got guys that can make it happen. Uh, Davis puts it on ice with the big TD run, 34 to 27, the final. Now, Coach, I've seen you emotional after a lot of wins, but it really seemed that this one was a reaction to this win that I haven't seen before. Why was this win so important to you? Well, I understand moments in life, and I understand moments in sports. And this was a moment for Campbell University to show where we was at. And um, when you get those opportunities to show where you're at as a program, and, you know, it's, it's very important that you step up to the, to the moment and to the challenge. And, and we did that from coaching, uh, coaching staff to, to players, um, to the whole organization, to the administration side of what we do here, here at Campbell University. When you look at that, that's what I was excited about. I was excited about our second year in, you know, scholarship football, and we was able to go on the road and beat a top 50 football team in the SOCON. Man, that's a big time win, and it really, uh, uh, you know, kind of set the tone of where we can go with this football program. It seems like every year we're having a biggest win in Campbell program history, but but that's a good thing because we we truly are. This was another milestone, but then. Three and one, your team starts for the second straight season. Three out of the last four years, your guys have gotten off to a three and one start. But you sort of set the records, uh, reset the records as Big South Conference play will start this Saturday at home against Presbyterian one o'clock. What can you tell us about PC? Hey, listen, PC is going to be a strong, tough football team. They play great defense. Uh, their head coach is a guy that understands defense because he was a defensive coordinator. They, they are going to come in and try to run the football. Uh, they got a quarterback that can really make it happen. I think 22, as you can see on the highlights right here, he's a guy that kind of carried a load for them um, on offense. And, uh, and so we got to be able to stop the run, keep them bottled up, and, and not give up the big play. Um, and I think defensively that's what we've been doing. Uh, but Presbyterian, uh, they're going to come out with their defense and really try to stop our explosive offense. And um, I can guarantee you these guys are going to play hard for 60 minutes. They're going to be in the right spots. Um, they well coach, and the guys are going to be coming in. And, and really our focus is can we get better? Improve in everything that you do this week. I don't care what it is, improve in it. And then the other thing that I told my team, we got to learn how to finish. So finish every rep. Um, if, if it's on the field, off the field, finish everything that you do this week. And um, that's our focus. That's what, that's what we're going to uh, lean on this week. And, and we get a chance to um, go out there and earn the right to win again this week. And, and that's really what it's all about. And a chance to play in some football weather finally. Not only is it our military appreciation game, folks, 1 o'clock kick. It's going to be 74 degrees at that kick. Tickets available at GoCamels.com. Can't wait to see you out there. For head coach Mike Minner, I'm Chris Haymeyer saying so long from this week in Campbell football. We hope to see you at the game, but if not, we'll see you back here next week.